But first, Western Mass News is your school authority. Good Wednesday evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us for Western Mass News 11 at 11. I'm Chris Pisano. Members of the Chicopee Education Association gathering in Chicopee this evening and protesting the city's plan to return to school. The district voted on a phased in learning approach and demonstrators say that plan won't work. Now the school committee may revisit their decision. Western Mass News reporter Lindsay Kane joins us now live from Chicopee with more. Lindsay. Chris, just a few hours ago, parents and staff were out here holding signs and getting cars to honk in support. And now the school committee says they may look at other learning options. The plan as it is right now with everything that was promised just can't work and it's not safe. It's not safe. As the Chicopee School Committee meeting was in session, demonstrators gathered on Broadway Street, all aligned with the same message they want to send city officials and the community. It is not able to give the education to our students they deserve. It's definitely not giving our my members the ability to teach the way that they can. And we are out here to say that and say it strong and ask them to reconsider and change the plan to something that is better for the students, better for the parents, better for the community, keeps people safe and allows our teachers to teach. The Chicopee School Committee voted on a phased in learning approach. Most students will start the school year fully remote with phases to bring more kids back into the classroom every three weeks. Parents have the option to keep their children completely remote and teachers have the option to teach remote. But Laura Demakis, Chicopee Education Association president, tells Western Mass News some teachers may have to teach students in the classroom as well as remote students, even if the teacher is fully remote themselves. None of my members, there are 500 people here, no one thinks that can work. No one thinks that's a good solution for the kids. She says officials are still waiting on an independent report of the air quality in the building. And with in-person learning starting on September 15th, for the first wave of students, she says they feel they need more time. Now the school committee meeting just wrapped up and one of the members tells us tomorrow we have to see if they're going to come back to the negotiating table or if it's going to be an impasse. Now keep in mind if they do decide to add this to the next meeting, it would be on September 16th after the first day of school has already come and gone. Live in Chicopee, Lindsay Kane, Western Mass News.